Hello, everybody, and welcome to Breakout Survivors, the roguelike breakout horde game. I don't even know how to describe this game. If you've ever played the old school breakout game, as you can see here on the right with the balls and the paddles and things, then you know about half of what this game is. But let's jump on in and show you the rest. We'll do normal mode and uh, full disclosure. I have not finished a run, so I'm not sure if it ever finishes or if it's just endless. I think it might be an endless kind of thing. Uh, but I will take XP Magnet. That one's pretty good. And yeah, it starts out just like Breakout, like you might remember from the early 2000s. If you played much of those style games, I used to really like that kind of thing back then. Uh, there was one on the internet that I don't remember what it's called. I remember it was super hard. Uh, sure, we'll do a random ball. Uh, I remember it was super hard and by like level four, the ball was going so fast you couldn't even see it. And I would play it in like my high school computer class over and over again. And uh, and got so, got so good at it that I ended up just like predicting where the ball would be. Uh, almost just like shooting it in the exact same position every time. And I would be able to beat uh, extra levels that nobody else in my class could beat. The highlight of my life right there in high school anyway. Maybe not anymore. Life is better now, but definitely in high school, I didn't have much going for me. Uh, all right. So yeah, as you can see, we did get a random ball down in the bottom right, just there where it says balls. You can see every time that bar fills up, we get a new ball. It'll start out as a or I guess it starts out as a random ball as well. I'm not sure what the green ones do, uh, but you can also, as you can see, get an extra ball here. I think I will go with XP gain for now. Oh, I think the green ones are the homing. Yeah, green ones are homing balls, okay. Uh, the red ones are explosive. The gray ones are like a spectral. They go through the bricks. The blue ones split when they hit your, your paddle. And yeah, so when we get an extra ball, now we have two cooldowns down there. And that extra ball, we will be able to get an upgrade to decide what it becomes. So, you know, maybe we make it another random one. Maybe we specifically go for an explosive ball. And you don't lose when you lose balls. You lose health if the bricks fall below that limit line that you see there on the screen. So as soon as that happens, that's when you begin to lose health. Our health is down here in the bottom left. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the splitting ball. Splitting ball is pretty damn good because it, uh, well, splits and you can get a fuckload of orbs going. There we go. All right. I don't remember what the purple one does. Oh yeah, getting silly with it now. All right, let's go ball cooldown. Get more balls going on. Yeah. All right, random balls are now tier two. Okay, fuck yeah. So all the random balls that are created now are the tier two version of those balls. So like the uh, I think the one that splits, I think it then splits in four. The double damage one then does quadruple damage. The explosive one increases its explosion radius. The spectral ball, as you can see that one there, uh, is a little bit bigger for the tier two version. Plus one to all balls, yeah, okay, plus one damage. So each of the blocks have a certain amount of health based on what color they are. I haven't determined exactly what color is which like which colors are strongest but i know red is the is like basically one health left they're about to be about to be broken we will extend the magnet range so we can get more xp the more xp we get obviously the more we level up and we're finishing wave four here perfect clear all right so every five waves we get a reinforced wave and that just means that the uh, bricks themselves are even stronger. As you can see, they're thicker, 
which I think just means they have more health, but I'm not sure if they just take up more space, but they have the same health. I'm, I'm really not sure about that. This is, I think, my third run, maybe fourth, third or fourth run that I've done in this game. I saw it on Retromation's channel, actually, and uh, immediately, like I said, had fond memories of playing this back in the early 2000s. Uh, not this specifically, but playing Breakout back in the early 2000s and knew I had to uh, had to give it a shot. If anybody can remember the name of that breakout web app that existed web game little flash game uh i have a feeling it wasn't as popular as it was in my school everywhere it was definitely what extra splits there we go yeah uh definitely what everybody played in in our computer class at school Ooh, we unlocked a boomerang ball for future runs that sounds exciting Let's get a let's get a fourth upgrade option. Obviously, having more choices when we upgrade is big. Very, very helpful. So we'll go there. There we are. Ooh, ooh, get him. Get him. Uh oh. We might we might lose some health here. Let's go. Ball damage. Nah, we got we didn't lose any health. Why would I think we'd lose health? Really need to try and prioritize catching the specialty balls and not the not the white ones. You don't really have much of a chance to aim in most of this game, as you can probably see. Uh, we'll go with another XP gain. Just a standard ball to start. Probably want to get next time it offers us. Another ball, probably want to go ahead and take that. I uh, I went with XP gain that last time, but uh, yeah, new baseball. There we go. And see what it'll let us take. I'd love to try out that boomerang, but that's not going to be till the next run that we get to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all the balls. Okay, we could go explo another explosive ball or another phantom ball. I think I like the explosive ball. The AOEs are nice, especially for the bricks that kind of get stuck close together. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Wave eight. There it is. We got, we got a bunch of balls out already. Lots of mana. Uh, we'll go with player with. Go with or with. Extra explosions. Explosionating. There we go. Okay. And then uh, we'll go with bigger explosions for now and take the take the maggot magnet range later. Not maggot range. We're not trying to pick up maggots. Nor are we a drill sergeant from the Vietnam era in Full Metal Jacket. Is that Vietnam or was that Korea? No, I don't remember. Now I'm questioning myself on everything I know about the movie Full Metal Jacket, which arguably isn't isn't very much. All right, XP range. Oh yeah, look at all them orbs. Get it, son. Get it. Okay. Uh, ball cooldown. That affects all of our balls. All of our balls are nice and cool now. About as cool as they can get. Cool as a cucumber. And we'll go with more player width. Keep us from dropping our balls. Be able to keep our balls nice and safe this way. All right, here's wave 10. I don't remember what wave it was on my furthest run. I remember I was pretty happy with where I got in the leaderboards, but 
I almost more attribute that to the game being relatively unknown. It came out fairly recently. Uh, and we'll get another ball. It seems worthwhile. Last time I started going, I think where I started losing it is I started going for ball speed and it became really hard to track where any of the specialty balls were. I mean, even already, it's it's hard to track the specialty balls. There's so much shit going on on the screen. But uh, we definitely... Another homing ball? Yeah. Homing ball seems good. And since we, we don't have a permanent homing ball, the, the homing balls that we get are from the random ball. All right. But now we do. Now we do have a permanent one. And there we go. Wave 10 cleared. Clear the first 10 waves with only perfect clears. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers, and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive Discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video, and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Okay. Go with upgrade rerolls. Seems pretty good. Split that. There we go. All right. Ooh. Oh, the fifth is the reroll option. Uh, yeah, second target, definitely. Let our homing orbs really do some fucking work out there. Oh, look at him go. So good. Homing orb might be the best orb I've found so far. Extra damage to everything. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Probably want to go ahead also increase my width again. I mean, I cover damn near almost half the screen now okay i think the yellow ones are the extra damage i think i could be wrong oh man the green ones are such like a tease they're coming they'll come like right for your paddle and then just turn the other way ball cool down for sure just keep them launching keep launching them orbs All right, and you know what? I will go with extra ball. I should probably go for player speed soon too. So keep an eye, I'll keep an eye out for that. I know I just, I realized I just saw, had the opportunity to take it, but I just mean uh, I should probably take that soon and not skip it next time is what I meant. Uh, yeah. Just want to make sure there wasn't something else there that I wanted more than extra speed for myself. But there was not. So we're good to go. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, okay. So I can take... Hmm... I don't know if I want either of these for my bonus ball. Don't get me wrong, they're both good, but I think either the homing ball is insanity and the the split ball is insane. Maybe we can't get more than one of the same kind of ball, but I don't I'm not sure. Player speed. Wave 13 cleared on to wave 14. We'll be on to 15 in no time be another boss fight or this game's equivalent to a boss fight i should say all right there we go there we go launching more homing and yeah i mean maybe we can't get more than one of the same ball so i guess we go double damage ball
Oh yeah, look at that. Clear. The clearing potential. Okay. Ooh, I think I gotta go with XP game. I can take quadruple ball later. But we gotta go with the XP game for now. Wave 14 cleared, about to level up. Here's wave 15. There we go. Let's start duplicating some orbs. Uh, quadruple damage. Uh, yeah, so eventually, I don't know if you anybody noticed it there, but eventually they start adding an option to your upgrades to like just destroy 10 blocks, just straight up destroy 10 blocks. And I think it's the 10 closest ones, but it might just be 10 random and kind of weight the closer ones higher. Uh, you also get the opportunity to shoot every ball out all at once. So if you just like lost all your balls, like say we just shoot everything we have all at once and uh i think it's unaffected by cooldowns i don't think it changes the cooldowns that we got going on all right go there and don't want to do ball speed so i'm gonna do another barrage oh my god yes get it And this is the point where I kind of expect like some other kind of boss. Uh, ooh, freeze line. I wonder what freeze line means. We can lower their limit down. So they, the blocks have to get further before we start taking damage. They are moving much faster now, as you can see. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them actually, because I am not happy with how close they're getting to the limit already probably go ahead next time it offers to lower the limit another time i will take it i would have taken it that time but i was uh a little worried like i said how close those bricks had gotten it was a little bit scary a little bit scary all right oh i don't even know what, oh i took an extra heart i didn't mean to didn't mean to click there that was a mistakio Okay, okay, there we go. Wave 16, perfect clear. On to 17, phantom orb right out of the bat. And we can go with uh, Raj, get some more orbs out there. I really do like the homing orbs, those are great. I like the splitting orbs, the explosive orbs. I mean, I really like them all. The extra damage ones are kind of like, meh, who cares? Uh, but that doesn't mean they're bad. You know, they deal four times damage. That's fucking a lot of damage, but it's just boring, I guess, compared to being able to do this or homing in on enemies and shit. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, let's just freeze them again. Why not? Because then we don't have any bricks to destroy. That's why not. Wave 17 cleared. On to 18. Let's go. We're getting it. Okay. We'll go ahead and destroy some bricks. Because they're getting low. Getting low, 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 low. Okay, we can freeze them. Clear some out so we don't have to worry about it quite so much. There it is. Bam. All right. Uh, I think I'll just take the extra score here. Quick thousand points. Climb that leaderboard. You know how much I care about leaderboards. None at all, but still. Okay. Wave 19 coming at us. Split that. Oof. Uh, yeah, let's freeze them. They're way too close for comfort. We 
Definitely need to get some of our splits going. Oh, we're taking damage now. Taking damage. Taking lots of damage. God damn. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze them again. There we go. All right. Feel better now. Oh, but they're still coming. They're still coming quick. All right. Freeze again. Get it. I think that was our first not uh, perfect clear. I think that was the first one that was not a perfect clear. Okay. We can keep our split orbs getting hit and get all those extra orbs and we're in good shape. All right, let's go with another max HP. Ugh. We lost like two split orbs there. Want to keep hitting them so we get lots of extra orb. God damn it again. All right, just focus on the blues. Focus on the blues. There they are. Come on. Freeze them. Fuck yeah. Get out of here, bricks. What are you doing? Get out of here. Nobody invited you to this party, bricks. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, all right. Let's see. What do we need? Barrage. Get them. Fuck them up. Fuck them all up. Perfect wave. Just fucking barely. We'll go with health drops so we get some extra health going on. Wave 21. I uh, I don't know how much longer we'll last. These are getting pretty sketch. Some of these rounds. Oh, God. All right. All right. All right. Ugh. Oh, uh, no. Max health, get a heart back, maybe? Yeah, no. All right, well, there we go. We found ourselves wave 21 hit 140th place with 109,000 points. Uh, I think that must be my best one. Can I see, like... No, only top 100 I can see. I mean number one players at 335 we're still quite a ways off from that so we're gonna have to experiment a bit more and find out how we can improve at this game because uh yeah again this takes me back to the early 2000s and high school computer class playing breakout so i'd love to play some more of this hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy content like this go ahead and subscribe uh, I put out a new video every single day. It's usually roguelikes, a lot of backpack battles and uh, auto battle strategy, auto battler strategy games, things like that. Uh, and if you want to comment on this game or other games you'd like to see me play, please go ahead and put it in the comments. I love hearing from you. Any, uh, if you, any interest in interacting further with the Harrison Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord, early access to videos and a shout out in every single one of my videos like Jacob Burns. Thank you, Jacob. You are amazing. Thank you for your support to everybody else who's been watching, liking, commenting and subscribing to the videos. You're all amazing as well. So until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you then. Bye.